This year we're going to be using an online textbook. The name of the textbook is called Conceptual Physics and you can access it a couple different ways. Uh, one of the ways that you can access it is you can just click uh, right on the link from our physical science webpage, which is right here. It will take you right to the page. Uh, you can also type in this address right here and it will take you to the login and you'll be a returning user because you'll have a username and password and you just go to login. Uh, this URL is quite long so what I would suggest is uh, just to uh, bookmark it to make it easier to get back to this page later on. Uh, from here you'll have your username and your password and then you just click sign in and it takes you to this uh, funny looking page. This is the book right here. So we just click on the book and click here. And here's your textbook. Right? So we can scroll and we can see the nice picture that's on the side of it. Um, so the first thing you should do is figure out how to navigate through this a little bit. Uh, you can go through the different uh, pages here and toggle through. Just like you would any other book. So here we're at the table of contents. Uh, you can also put in specific page numbers. Here's page 12, at the beginning of it. Uh, this is showing a screen that is just a single page. Uh, this button up here shows a double page. So it shows side by side. It's a little bit smaller, but you get to see the whole thing. Uh, if you want to zoom in, that's pretty simple. You can just zoom in. Or you can zoom out. Um, you can zoom to a certain amount or you can go back to the original amount, the 100%. Uh, you can also jump back and forth between the different pages that you were on. So that's a nice feature as well. Um, so you can type in any page number that you want over here. So what is kind of nice about that is I've given you, if you go back to our physical science site, and I do have a video that explains how to navigate here, but if you go to the different topics, we'll just click on the first one for introduction. Uh, I've provided the page numbers. So pages one through nine are the pages for the introduction topic. So if we go back to our book, which is a separate window, we can just type in page one, enter. And here we are, here's the first page. Uh, the last page for this one is page nine. There you go. Uh, so pretty simple to move around. You just have to kind of get used to uh, using uh, the buttons. Uh, right now it does not maximize. Unfortunately, it's only the size that you can see right over here, which is why the zoom in and zoom out are going to be uh, nice features that you're going to use. Uh, the other way that you can access different parts of the book, the different chapters, is by using the contents tab that's over here. So if we just click on it, it comes out by the different sections. And if we go to introduction, you can jump right to the beginning of the chapter like we did before. Uh, or we go back to introduction, we can go to each of the sections. So maybe we want to find out about um, hypotheses, click on that, and here we go, scientific hypotheses. Uh, again, if this is too small, you can always go to a single page view, uh, and then you can grab the bar to scroll up and down so that you can read it, and then go to the next page, and you can continue like this. Uh, if you did hit the contents and you didn't want it out like this, maybe hit it by mistake, you just click on it again, and back it goes, it retreats right back into that tab. All right, so uh, just kind of work around and, get, and figure out how you can get to the different pages. And then we'll talk about some of the nice interactive features that this online textbook has. Okay, so now you've had a little time to be able to get to the different pages of the book. Uh, let's look to see some of the features that this book has. Um, if you don't want to read it, but I suggest that you do read it, but maybe you like to listen, um, it's, it's kind of a robotic type of reading, but there is a way to have the screen read. And you just have to click on this icon up here, which, is, which reads screen reader. And there's different sections of the text and it highlights when you go over it. Um, you just press these, this button and it will uh, read the text to you. And when you're done, you just hit stop. Um, and then if you don't want it, you just click that again to turn off that feature. If you wanted to print one of the pages, then just click here and you have your standard uh, print menu that would come up and you can print out the page. We're not going to do that. Uh, and if you ever had any questions, there's always a help button over here and there's different topics that you can go through. Uh, a nice topic that happens with this book is it highlights the vocab. You can 
see here's fact, hypothesis down here. And when you click on that part that's highlighted, it brings up the glossary and it brings up the definition. So you don't have to really look it up. It'll bring the definition right to you. So if we scroll down over here, we've got a few of them. Laws, we'll just click on this one, out it comes, and here's the definition. Uh, again, you've got this little speaker button, so uh, it'll read it for you, uh, as well as um, you can read it on your own. Uh, all right, as we go through the book, you'll notice, uh, let me get to one of the other pages. I think, let's see, we'll go to page 16. Uh, you'll notice that you've got these little pencil icons that are here. Uh, and when you have the pencil icons, there are a number of different uh, options. They all look the same, um, just because it's the same pencil, but when you hover over it, it gives you the different um, worksheets that are associated. So if you go to check your understanding or complete a lab worksheet, if we click on this one, it'll open a new window, a PDF document for, for um, checking your understanding. And again, just like any other PDF document, you can uh, print it out or save it. And then lab worksheet, same idea. These are all PDF documents. It opens it up in a new window. Uh, let's go to page 19. So we've got a bunch of them over here. This one's called answer the question. So there you go, call the next time question. That's, this is little Nellie Newton, by the way. Uh, what else do we have? Another check your understanding, complete the lab worksheet, another lab worksheet, another lab worksheet over here. So there's a bunch of them that are embedded within this um, online text. Uh, let's jump ahead to page 23. And at the end of the chapter, uh, you've got your summary and you've got your key terms that are down here, just like a standard textbook, except this is just all online. Here's another one of those pencils. Uh, read a summary. So if we click on this one, it quite literally is a summary, a two-page summary in this case. Uh, here's the big idea and then some uh, other supporting evidence that goes underneath. And then we have a check mark. Check your understanding. This is uh, basically a short online quiz. So you can answer these questions and then you can check to see if you got it right. So it's a nice way to sort of check for your understanding before there's a test or a quiz that we might have. Uh, let's go to number 24, page 24. Uh, look at this. So here's some uh, review questions for the different topics that are in this uh, chapter. And if you got stuck, if you're not really sure um, what the answer is, well, look at that. Here's a hint. And it tells you pretty much where the answer is going to be, right? It leads you right back to that section of the text. Um, and so really helpful if you're stuck on some of these questions. Uh, let's see, what else? Let's go to page 27. We won't do many of these um, for the think and solve, practice your math skills. These might be a little bit more uh, involved for what we're going to be doing in our class. Um, some of them are appropriate and some of them are a little bit, uh, a little bit more challenging than they need to be for what we're going to be doing. Um, you can also access all those different types of documents with this tab over here, which is View By. If we click on this, remember we had summary worksheets, the exercise worksheets were those um, other ones we talked about before, and you can click on By the Chapter, and then they come up again, right? And we had those lab worksheets, same idea, right? You get, you get the picture. Uh, again, if you clicked on this by mistake or you don't want it sort of jetting out like this, just click here and it goes back in. Uh, a couple other things, you do have a glossary that you can find all the terms. You can go to each of the different alphabetized sections. Uh, there's an index just like in any other book. Uh, and there's also different appendices and you can click on those and you can work your way through them. Uh, so there you go, that's basically our online textbook. It's pretty much like a regular textbook, um, but it does have some interactive features. Uh, that will make it, uh, I think, pretty useful for our class together. Thanks for watching.